Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and before we start today's video, I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I know I am a little late to the party but still, Merry Christmas and I hope you have a very very happy new year. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this new year greeting title animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started with today's video. Now before we start today's video, I just want to quickly tell you guys about my very own Gaze Graphics Pack. Link is in the description. The pack now comes with Atomx extension and over 4500 plus ready to use animations saving you a lot of time. Using the pack is super easy. Open your project composition, browse the animation that you like using the Atomx extension and just click on apply. Boom, you are good to go. You can even use the customizer inside the extension to edit your animations. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds. Gaze Graphics Pack comes equipped with 22 different categories which include 230 plus slideshows and typography animations, 400 plus transitions, 650 plus titles and lower thirds, 60 plus logo animations, animated devices, infographics, color filters, social media animations, shape elements, text and animation presets, sound effects and a lot more. So grab your copy today of the Gaze Graphics Pack version 5 powered by Atomex extension. Alright so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's go with 1920 by 1080, 30 fps and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Press OK. Then create another new composition. This is going to be our title placeholder. So let's call this title and press OK. Then I can select the text and type in whatever text that we want. So let's say if I want to type in new year, there we go. And for the font, I can use a nice homework font. But I also want to add that nice glimpse that you saw in the preview video. So in order to do that, we need to use a different method here. So what we need to do is open up Photoshop, all right, whichever document size that you want, select the text tool and let's type in the text that we want. So I'm going to type in new year. All right, I'm using the same homework font here, no matter what size you take. So let's keep it right here. And then what I'm going to do is go into window and glimpse so we have this nice glimpse panel and it's going to show all the glimpse that comes along with this particular font so there are a number of different options that we can choose from now maybe by default your glimpse would look something like this so to fix this you can just simply click on the small button and that should fix it and you can easily preview this so i want this nice line for the n alphabet in the new year so I'll browse that and let's find that one. So this one, so I'm going to simply select the N and then go right here and double click on this one and boom, there we go. And same way for the R. So if I go right here, let's move this one, select the R and let's browse the R that we want. We want this line to be at the right side. So this one, yeah, double click and boom, there we go. And now simply I need to select or double click, select everything, press Ctrl C to copy it, open up After Effects, so this one, and then hit Ctrl V and there we go. There we have our text. Simple and easy, right? Let's align this into the center. I'll increase the size a little bit like so. And there we go, looking very nice. Now in order to make it even more cooler, I will add a nice gradient to this. So let's select layer, right click and go into layer style and let's add a 
gradient overlay let's go into the gradient overlay options here let's set the angle to 45 degrees and increase the scale to 150 percent then go into edit gradient which is going to bring up this panel so i'm going to select the first color so just click on that to select it and let's add a nice yellow color on this so maybe something like this one a lighter tone and then create a new point right here and then add a more saturated yellow then click here use a lighter tone of the yellow create another point again use a saturated one use another point or add another point use a lighter one and finally the last one is again going to be a saturated one so here you can see we get this really nice gradient on our text and it's looking really really cool then i can select it again right click layer style and let's add a bevel and emboss on this so let's go into the settings let's increase the size to around 10 and let's increase the softness to 5 or 4 should be good i think 10 is a bit too intense so let's bring that down a little bit like so so maybe 5 or 4 should be fine then let's set the highlight mode to normal and the shadow mode to color dodge Inc i'll increase this to around 80 percent and now let's increase the size a little bit so maybe somewhere around 10 should be fine so as you can see before and after it, it we have added this nice little highlight which looks very nice and adds uh, another level of detail into our text and finally let's add our secondary text that is happy new year so new year we have added let's let's add the second text or the first text we'll type in happy we can use the same font if we want to but let's add some variation by using a nexa font so i'll go with the nexa book and i'll make this full caps the smaller like so press ctrl d to duplicate it let's move this here all right so this is looking very nice our title is ready now we can jump into our main render comp let's press ctrl y to create a new solid let's call this mask press ok make sure it's white then go right here and select the ellipse tool and double click on it so it's going to create an ellipse like so we can go into mask and mask expansion so we can adjust this all right and then go into effects and presets and search for an effect called roughen edges one of my favorite effect we can create some really interesting things using this so let's go into the edge type and set this to spiky let's increase the border to around 60 so we have some nice intense borders here bring down the edge sharpness to 0.7 because i think it's a way too sharp increase the complexity to 3 let's also animate the evolution so i'll create a keyframe here go all the way up to 10 seconds and animate this so we have a nice subtle animation going on all right maybe a bit more all right so that's fine now let's go into effects and presets and search for an effect called turbulent noise double click to apply that let's set the fractal type to something like a dynamic twist and the noise type i'll leave it at soft linear invert this and increase the contrast to somewhere around you know thousand or something really cool and let's increase the brightness as well all right so basically we will be animating this and also i'll increase the complexity to 12 all right so i'll go at the very start let's create a keyframe on the contrast brightness and the mask expansion we can hit u so we can just see the keyframes here so the very start let's bring down the brightness until and unless the smudges disappear like so and also bring down the mask expansion down all right and then let's go to around two seconds increase the mask expansion like this bring up the brightness back like so 
so it fills up the complete scene so now we have something like this looks pretty cool i think i think i'll increase the contrast a little bit so i'll set this to 1500 at the start and at the end let's increase decrease this so now we have something like this and it's looking very nice i think all right okay and then i can just drag and drop the title composition below the mask toggle switch and set the track mat to luma matte so now when we take this back we have this really nice reveal now in the assets i have a particles footage that we can drag and drop it on the top and you can download the complete free project file link is in the description below and let's align this with the footage so i'll go right here and also i can click right here go into columns and add a stretch column let's stretch this down like so so we have this nice reveal as you can see maybe let's set this to around 65 and then i can change the blending mode of this particles to add press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move this a few frames forward in time so we have a particle staying there all right that is looking quite nice i think let's move them a little bit back and i'll select this and scale them down a little bit like so so we have first the shorter particles and the wider particles following it yep that is looking much better all righty right and then select the particles layer go into effects and presets and add some glows on this so double click to apply that let's solo this layer so we can focus on the glows all right let's increase the glow radius and then increase the intensity duplicate this press ctrl d let's bring down the glow threshold and now we have this nice glowing particles and then we can simply copy this glow ctrl c and paste it on the first layer as well so now if we preview this we have this really nice look now whenever you're working with glows make sure you always switch to 16 bits which i'm already working in if you are working in 8 bits hold alt and click on the small button and this is going to switch it into 16 bits now let's turn everything into 3d so we can toggle switch turn them into a 3d layer right click and create a new camera let's go with 35 mil press ok and basically i'll select the position and animate this so i'll go at two seconds create a keyframe on the position go at the very back let's go right here so we can see the particles first let's zoom in and then place it back all right let's move this a bit more forward all right then select the keyframe press f9 to ease ease them go into the graph editor and let's tweak the graph so i'll select this point hold shift and drag it and this one as well like so and there we go it's looking very nice i think then we have some dust particles which i can add it on the top let's change the blending mode of this to screen so we have this really nice look then then go into effects and presets and search for curves double click to apply that because right now there are too many dust particles i need to bring up the contrast like so so we have some so we only see the dust particles that has the brightest values and that is looking very nice and finally i will add the light leaks layer that i have it on the top and change this to screen and then i'll bring down the opacity so hit t to bring down the opacity and let's set this to around 40 to 45 percent should be fine and right here i want the intensity of this to be very high so sun like that and then i can basically animate uh, the opacity of this so select the light leaks and the dust particles press t to bring to bring down the opacity create a keyframe go back at the very start and set this to zero and then select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them now if i preview this we have this really nice animation very easy to create 
and finally i will create a new adjustment layer called this cc for color correction go into effects and presets let's add a curves to enhance the colors like so and then i'll add a sharpen of around maybe 10 to 15 15 should be fine and um and finally i will add some noise in this in order to avoid any kind of color bending so let's uncheck these and set this to around four percent all right all right and there we have our happy new year animation ready to roll very easy to create super simple and looks very elegant and professional so that is how you can create your new year animations inside of after effects without using any plugins now if you want to learn more advanced title animation then i have a complete playlist to which i have mentioned the link in the description and it's also available in the end screen so make sure to check it out with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out